Hi water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you that are cross-watching, in today's reading we're going to take a look and see what will unfold in the next 24 to 48 hours for you, maybe even the next 72 hours, okay? Time is not linear, time is fluid, so um, let's bear with it. Um, we'll go ahead and see what you can expect within the next couple of days. It is going to be a general reading, so please be mindful of that. If you're after a personalized reading, feel free to reach out and connect with me. My email address is going to be listed be uh, below the video. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead and take a look and see what is going to unfold and what is what you can expect from the next um, 24, 48, 72 hours. Page of Swords, but he's come out in reverse. Queen of Pentacles. You do have a lot of earthly energy here, okay? A lot of pentacles. Um, it could be a reminder for you to stay grounded, okay? For you to stay grounded about um, a certain situation that you might have going on in your life, for you to stay realistic, okay? You guys are water signs. Um, you are otherworldly um, in a good way, uh, but I feel like there's a lot of... You, you could potentially be dealing with an earth energy as well, but for a lot of you, I think it's a message for you to stay grounded about a certain situation, okay? Because um, you guys are very intuitive and you like to follow your intuition. You know, you like to follow your your feelings, your gut feelings, even if they don't always make sense, right? You don't always know why or, you know, why you feel what you feel or what you feel what you feel. But, it, you know, you know that whatever it is that you feel you can trust it and um, you always like to lean into what lean into your intuition much more than logic but right now i think there is a situation in your life that does require a little bit of logic it does require for you to you know still of course still listen to your gut instinct and intuitive nudges or associations that you are getting about a certain person or a certain situation but you need to stay grounded you need to take a realistic approach towards um something or someone it could be a romantic situation it could be a situation involving career because we are speaking pentacles here right um page of swords here in reverse if you're expecting contact and communication i don't necessarily see it coming in for you okay that's not to say it doesn't come in at all for you i just don't think it's going to come in within the next 24 to 48 to 72 hours so if you're expecting to hear from someone or if you're expecting um some sort of message some sort of answer it is going to come in okay but i see that at the back end there's some sort of confusion or there's some sort of delay there so um you might you know someone here might potentially want to connect with you but they're just not sure what to say or they might not feel like right now is a good time okay maybe they've got things going on maybe they know you have things going off and so i see this person like holding off okay they could be putting together a text message and they might just let that text sit in their inbox but and i see them holding it off they might get distracted because billowing clouds are a sign of a distraction that could be it that could be what we're seeing here and then you know when they come back and pick up their phone they'll remember oh yeah they've put together this message and then they'll hit send so something here some sort of communication that i feel like you're waiting for it and i feel like you're anticipating for it um but i don't see it coming in for you just yet i see some sort of delay i see some sort of setback um, same thing goes if you're waiting to receive an email, I feel like. If you're waiting to receive an email or a response, or response from someone or something, um, I feel like this person maybe needs to get their facts straight or like they've run off to get all the information so that they can email you with all of that information that you're after. Um, you know, so there's no double handling, that kind of thing. So just be patient with something because, I, as again, I want you to know that I do feel like there is communication coming in from for you but it might not necessarily happen over the, the the span of the next few days so just be patient again it might be playing into that energy of you needing to take a realistic approach you might really want to hear from this person or you might really want an answer but don't rush anything okay there's a reason why something is being delayed here even if you don't necessarily see it just yet everything is going to be revealed in time um 
I feel like the Queen of Pentacles as well. There's something here that I feel like you're neglecting. Um, and something he needs nurturing. Okay, it could be um, could be a talent of yours. Maybe you're quite talented in something, but you've sort of just cast it aside. Maybe you feel like you're not good enough. Maybe you feel like it's taking too much time. But whatever it is, it's very much an extension of you. Okay, um, could be a relationship. Could be a romantic relationship that needs nurturing. Could be you. You're the one that might need nurturing. You might need to give yourself a little bit more love and attention. Um, could be a project. Okay, it just needs a little bit more of a polish up or a little, a little bit more, you know, ten, tender loving care. So don't neglect uh, something that I feel like has the potential to really grow or to really shine here. Um, the chariot, I feel like there's, you're make this is you, this is your energy. I feel like you're making some sort of big bold move here, some sort of big bold decision. And this screams victory, this screams success, this is... Um, this paves the road for so many opportunities, okay? Um, I think it's something that you've been in two minds about it, okay? And because it's a card of movement, it might have something to do with travel. You might potentially be going ahead to book travel plans. Um, maybe that's why you're waiting to receive the answer from. Um, you potentially could lock something in. You might potentially make the decision to to travel, okay? And not look back or to... It's some sort of move that you're making, Um and it feels like it's a bold move. It feels like the way that I see you, you're like, okay, well, you know, stuff this, I've got nothing to lose. And then you, you're just going to go for it. It's some sort of big, bold decision. It is very courageous on your part because I think it's something that you've been wanting to do for so long and you're finally just going to rip off the bandaid and do it. could also be someone that you're very, very closely connected to that is going to make a big, bold move, not on your behalf, but I feel like it's going to affect you in a positive way, okay? Because this is victory, this is success. This is um something this is you making a move a big bold move towards victory towards success you could also receive um communication you could receive news that you're successful okay application is successful um you've been approved you've you know something he has gone through a project has been green lit and this is very much involving you okay so it's going to personally affect you whatever this is um, I also feel like there's some sort of decision that you're going to have to make over the next um, 24, 48 hours or so. And it's something that you're in two minds about it. And yes, you have to decide, guys. You can't, you know, it's either yes or it's either it's a no. It can't be a maybe, okay? You can't, like, sit on the fence. You can't straddle the fence. It's like you're going to have to make a decision. And you're going to have to stick to it because oftentimes, you know, when you uh, make a decision... You not only commit to that choice, but you also commit to the consequences of that choice. So you might want to think about that before you finally, you know, make your decision. Because there will be consequences, good or bad, there's always consequences, right? So there's some sort of decision that I feel like you have to make. And maybe it's something that you've been putting off and the universe is, you know, finally saying, no, no more delays, no more detours, you're doing this. You're making this decision one way or another. Um... You've got two, three, and four of pentacles, okay? So over the next two, three, or four days, I feel like what you're doing is going to be very important. It's going to be very instrumental in your future plans. For some of you, you are working on something, or you're going to begin a project that is going to be very much a big part of who you are, your future, what you will do, and what you will represent. You could be building a brand, it could be an idea, you could be, um, you know, an artist, you could be working on a project. Um, there's something here that I feel like that you're building. For some of you, you're going to maybe start um, like a second, this, I feel like this, there might be a second flow or a second income that comes in for you. So you could start like a, I don't know, um, you know, uh, work from home business, or you could start something here that I feel like is going to generate you money. It starts off as fun. It starts off as this, you know, fun, you kind of flirt with the idea of something and it starts off as a hobby. It starts off as a little bit of fun, but it, then it kind of turns serious. It'll turn into like a really big idea. Um, or you might potentially just, for instance, like, you know, pick up a piece of pen and paper and go, okay, I have this really great idea for a story. And it's just a little bit of fun. And then all of all of a sudden, you know, you're pulling together characters, scenarios. And next thing you know, you've got a book, right? So something that starts off as fun actually will become um, not not right away, not overnight, guys, right? There's no such thing as overnight success. But in the future, will become very successful. And the seeds that you plan for it, so as long as you nurture it, it will grow and it will flourish, okay? So 
whatever it is here. I feel like it's something for some of you as well. I'm seeing that you potentially could receive no, uh, news, okay? It could be two, three, four days, or it could be like on the second, third, or fourth of the month or of the next upcoming month or so, okay? Um, only because suit of pentacles is more of a slower moving energy, and that's why I'd say it might potentially be two to three months from now. It could be like on the second, third or fourth of the month, or the next month, or the month after that. But keep, keep uh, jot those dates down, keep an eye for that. And I feel like there's something here that happens consecutively, consecutively for you. Okay, so on the second, on the third, and on the fourth, um, there could be really important dates. Um, you could receive news. It's just those numbers are something to look out for, okay? Could be a lot of numbers i don't know it's, it just feels like it's good for you it works for you these numbers um i feel like there's something here that you have that you need to share with someone um it could be like something that you've been working on and you might need to and i feel like it's something that you're holding close to your chest i, I don't know what it is but it could be like a project right um you might be a writer and you might need to get in contact with an agent but you're scared to do that because you're scared to show off your work i feel like there's someone here that you're supposed to connect with that is going to help you do that okay but it will require that you place trust in this individual so you know four of pentacles whatever it is that you're holding on to it's great you know i think that you care about this i think it's your baby whatever it is like it's something very special to you but it's so special that the world or you know that other people do deserve to see it and do deserve to know it and to come to know of it so you know whatever it is like don't just keep it to yourself it's something very beautiful it's something very special and it deserves to grow and it deserves to thrive and you just have to take the step right could have something to do with career could have something to do with a project you're working on i don't know or some sort of decision that you have to make but it's like a talent of yours okay you know that you're, you might, you're good at this and you're talented but you gotta openly share it otherwise not it's not a waste of talent but no one gets to see it or appreciate it that kind of energy um okay guys so yeah basically to sum up the next couple of days i think there's some sort of big bold move or decision that you're making or someone is going to make towards you that is going to impact you positively something here is going ahead something is being greenlit there's a lot of movement in the energies i see travel for a lot of you guys um i also feel like there's two different people or two different scenarios that you're going to have to choose between and i find that very interesting you're in two minds about something but you have to make a decision you can't have your cake and eat it too or maybe you can't i don't know let me know how that goes um all right guys otherwise i'm just going to leave it at that thanks so much for watching and listening please show your support if you haven't already by subscribing to the channel liking sharing um subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell too um and that will inform you when i upload the messages next for you guys. Bye for now.